What's up YouTube, Aaron here, and today I am unboxing my NBA All-Star Weekend official sneaker. So I actually got these for the price of 110 on retail. Uh, these actually didn't sell out, there was another color of them that did sell out, but uh, these were one of the less hyped ones. There were some like the Kung Fu Kenny, the Cortez's that Kendrick Lamar made with them, and then also the Kobe ones, and even the Drake OVO8. But yeah, I guess let's get right into it and I can show y'all what I got. I've been throwing this around on my uh, Snapchat, my friends and such, and even on my story just now recently. These are basically the poor man's Travis Scott's. If you don't know what the Travis Scott's are, it is a uh, Travis Scott signature Air Force One with Nike, and it, it has something very special where you can change out the swooshes because there is a Velcro patch under each of the four swooshes. Now on them Travis Scott's, they came in colors such as the chrome that was already on there and another silver and flame one. But anyways, these just came with the base colors. Basically, this is the colors of the rainbow, and I guess I'll get it open right now. Alright, so first impressions. Uh, it's just regular box. I actually just unboxed the uh, SF AF1 Chinese New Year's, but I returned those because they were quite ugly on my foot. No, I'm not liking them So, anyways, here's the box. Just a nice silver kind of gray box, and I'm gonna get a different angle for y'all. So, yeah, I guess let's just crack this baby open. Wow, here are all the swooshes, very nicely packaged. And if you see, we have purple, yellow, red, blue, and black. And these each come with a pair, so you can put them on each shoe. And then next, we just have the all-white Air Force one. I'm interested to see how they, they actually make this work. These are just a staple in New York streetwear and just streetwear everywhere. So yeah, here they are right here. They look crazy. I'm actually wearing my other Air Force Ones. They're just like a low top version of mine and they're also white, just pure leather. Here's the soles on them if you're interested. And uh, I'm gonna mess around with the uh, Velcro a bit. I'm gonna just put it back in the regular angle because I think that might work out better. But I guess I don't wanna like break the leather on them. But I think you simply just rip them off. This honestly looks pretty cool without the uh, without any lace on it. Look at that. It's just kind of neat. But I guess we'll just, uh, you'll never see me rocking the purple ones. I just don't. I like these because you can match them with any outfit ever pretty much. As long as it's not like green or something. But I guess we'll just throw a purple one on there because why not. But you see you simply just put it on there. I'm going to throw some b-roll in there of me just wearing all the colors with some music behind it. But uh, it should just be that simple, shouldn't it? It is kind of, I've noticed it's kind of hard to get it right on position. And this little leather thing right there, that's going to get really wrinkled really fast. I've just now, or not wrinkled, but creased. That's going to be annoying. But, uh, works out pretty well. There we go. Just smack right on. I was actually going to put music behind, but then I thought maybe I should just talk more about my first impressions of the shoe. So, uh... They look really good, even though they're all white and they might get dirty easily. What am I saying? They will most definitely get dirty easily. But, uh, yeah, they're really, really bold. Unfortunately, since they're low tops, they're not as comfortable as the high tops. Or, I've never worn mid tops, but I heard mid tops are the most comfortable out of the Air Force Ones. But, yeah, they're really cool and they can match with nearly any outfit out there. And that's pretty much the reason why I bought them. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and guys, I actually did not know this before I bought them. But, uh, it seems kind of pointless to me, but it's somewhat cool. So, uh, right here, this, this, like, Nike Air thing, it comes off. But, unfortunately, unlike the swooshes, there's really no purpose to it coming off. Unless you just don't want it to say Nike on it. Because they, like, they didn't, they didn't include different tongue, different tongue Velcros. So, you only have these ones, and they're identical right there anyway you guys that is going to be it for the video i have to say for 110 dollars these are very nice very good shoe to have and uh, the regular just all white air force one is about 90 and with tax it would be 100 so it's pretty much the same thing you just get a couple free swooshes which is really nice and uh as combos go the only combo that i would rock would be a uh, red and blue because i can wear that with a lot of things 
Uh, as for the main colors, I would mostly just wear red and blue and on the full shoe. Like this one will be blue and this one will be blue, or vice versa with the red. As for the yellow, I have a couple yellow pieces in my collection and uh, that those will go really well with it. But for the purple, you'll rarely see me wearing the purple. Unless I'm like doing it for Mardi Gras day or something, I don't really know. But uh, anyways, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. And uh, I want to I wanna do more of these shoe unboxings and on feet because one of my favorite YouTubers, Bullet TRC, does it. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. But yeah, anyways, I want to do more of these. So leave some feedback down below if you enjoyed it. And uh, anyways. Welcome. Big shot. Hold up, where? Peanut butter insides. No. Outside. Come here. White body look like gym towels. Gym towels. Emotional, 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 emotional. Why you emotional? Why you emotional? Ah, you emotional? Yeah, big shot.